What's up, nerdlings? What is up, nerdlings? Oh, gosh. It's more mail and mail. Mail and mail. It's mail and it's mail. And it looks like we got mail. It's mail and it's mail. And it's from Bateman. Peter Bateman waves and games so he actually got in <laughs> touch with me and said he had a couple of games that he didn't need or want and asked if i was interested oh hmm. really am i interested no we have nowhere to put them no. where are we gonna put them <laughs> <laughs> funny little side note Peter actually wrote a little note on the outside of the box. Now, whenever we have anything shipped to us, we usually have it sent to us at work so that, you know, we're there when the package is there. Yes. Not left under the doorstep or something, you know. Hmm. Yeah. Thanks, delivery guy. The co-workers of mine had to read off the note. Yeah. Nosy a little. But it does say, love from the whole family, even Anora. She'll meet you someday. Someday. Someday oh. when you guys move back home. Oh, she's never. I'm gonna never going to let that go. Never. Well, let's dive in and see what our music man, Peter Bateman, sent to us. Now, right before we dive in, naturally, there will be a link in the description below to take you over to Waves and Games. Now, Peter has done some music for the YouTube community as well as doing some stuff on his own channel, whether they're Gamer Tales, where he gets people in the community together to share some of their Gamer Tales. <laughs> and he also does that some Let's inventive. Plays. <laughs> he recently did a No Death Run of Donkey Kong Country, so watch out, Mega Powers. You might have some competition. Good luck, Peter, but they are the Mega Powers. Two, three, and here we go, here we go. Oh no, mother of pearl. Yes! Yes! Oh, it's over! You did it? I did it! <laughs> You're so sweaty. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> We've got a note on top. Hey, Tom and Lady Lacey. The things in this box are items Tom and I discussed, but a package can always use a surprise. I hope the other two items will work with your collection. Oh. Love you, the musical cowboy. <laughs> Since when are you a musical cowboy? His original image. Oh. You called him the musical cowboy. Oh, even. yeah. <laughs> I <Peter> forgot. <laughs> P.S. Future Tom put the cowboy picture in. <laughs> Thanks, Future Tom. <laughs> wow, look at that. Past Peter. <laughs> Knew that you'd be asking about I know, he knew I would forget. He knows my memory is crap. <laughs> well, there you go. Yay, bubble wrap! Good gravy! Oh, thank you. It's just brown and water. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. My ear's kind of ringing. <laughs> well, mop. <laughs> you, just, you, you got what you deserve. <laughs> oh, it's a controller. For? A turbo. Normal or slow. <laughs> For what system? A Genesis. <laughs> it feels weird. Well, it is a third party. Okay, controller, I was going to say it's a lot smaller. But the, I like these, the ridge back here, though. The nice thing is it's got that six button yeah, layout. Yeah. Yeah. And let's face it, those were the Genesis controllers you wanted, were the six buttons. Yeah. So. Why? I always thought it was, was A, B, C, X, Y, Z. Why couldn't they just go the rest of the alphabet? Why didn't they have to go the beginning and the end? <laughs> it's just weird. I'll let you figure that out. But it's always nice to have another controller because... Buttons from A to Z. If you have some friends over, you can play some it's multiplayer. It's the cousin controller. It kind of is the cousin controller. <laughs> Ooh, maybe that's what he's doing. 
this is a clue that he is coming back, and that's the controller he wants to use when okay. he comes back. <laughs> All right. <gasps> move, move, move! <laughs> Do you approve, Jen? Do you approve? I can't hear. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I've been physically abused in the ear. What? I can't make out the words. I'm deaf. Are you finished? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, okay. King of the Monsters. Two. No, He's he a weird looking Captain America. He had sent me a picture of the games that he had, <laughs> and I picked out a couple. I was like, you know, actually, I don't have this one, so I thought this would be fun. To this poor monster, he's got a big horn on his head, a little horn, and then, like, big old like, bottom teeth tusk thingies. Like, don't bite down too hard. He's gonna hurt himself. And then was this, like, weird robot with an underbite. <laughs> <laughs> and then, weirdo Captain America. <laughs> Where are you getting? Ca oh, the he's a. got an A, and he's got the head like Captain America, except he's got Yondu's fin on his head. <laughs> what this? What this? I think you might like this one. Ooh, teenage man! I can't sing anymore because we'll get in trouble. Cool. Which one is this one? This no? is the Hyperstone Heist. Now, this is the Genesis equivalent to TMNT 4 Turtles in Time on the Super Nintendo. Oh. I've always been interested to give this one a playthrough because I love Turtles in Time. Oh, yeah. I mean, who doesn't? Mm -hmm. So getting to play it in a different fashion, I think that'll be a lot of fun. That is cool. Oh, this is a fun little pack-in. What is it? What is it? Ah, oh, sweet! We got a Waves and Games! Sweet! Now we have our very own Waves and Games. I like this side better, I think. I like the, the water background. You like the waves? I do. <laughs> no, this is just like water. This the wave and that's the wave. Well, this is a very awesome looking sleeve. Of course, by Chris over at Video Game Dust Sleeves. And this is what we're often talking about. The custom community sleeves that he makes. Yes. They're so good looking. I mean, I like the stuff that he does for games anyway, so that they look really nice mm -hmm. on your shelves. You know, give them a nice spot. I like his everything. 3D ones he's been doing. His 3D yeah, covers that he's been cool. doing. Yeah. But the custom ones, oh man, I love these yeah. because people's logos look so perfect on there. And now Peter needs to tell us what game yeah, goes in here. That will be curious you get to, to pick out what, what game goes in here. Everybody else in, in our game room has picked out what goes in their sleeve. As cool as that sleeve is, I gotta know. Would you buy that for a buck? Is that how it goes? I buy, that for, buy that for a buck. I buy that for a buck. I buy that for a buck. <laughs> Would you buy it for a buck? Is that the phrase? Would you buy that for a buck? Who knows? I bought this for a buck. <laughs> All right, and there's one more game one in here. One more game? This one I thought was very curious looking from the picture he sent me. So this is whacked. Oh, it, uh, yeah. And this is on the original Xbox. So it makes me think of kind of uh, like Earthworm Jim and the Tick kind of. I could see that, like the art style. Yeah. Very reminiscent of that, yes. This is a game show. Uh, I believe it's like an action platformer as well. It kind of looks like that. I don't think it's all just mini games or anything. But what's really interesting is this girl right here. I think they put her in a dress on the cover to be nice oh she naked in there well take a look at the oh manual. she's got some uh bars covering i remember Good seeing Lord. this in magazines uh probably game informer and they would poke fun at the fact that she wore sensor bars that's and I hilarious had completely forgotten all about this game oh baby now you're talking my language you might have gone a little too far oh too far Baby, you ain't seen nothing yet.
<laughs> now that is what I call naked ambition. It's a wrap for today! And I think this was one of the ones that he uh, he wasn't a fan of. He's like, yeah, I don't need that. And is it Elvis? He's he's got kids in the house, so it's it's probably best to get it out of there. There's Elvis and a weird penguin. There's some weird stuff going on in here. Do you want this? Here. Yeah, let me hey, see. Oh my gosh, that was exciting! Oh my gosh, that was exciting. <laughs> That's right, Nerdling. We've got our own set of Peter Bateman memes. <laughs> we love you, Peter. <laughs> so, Peter, thank you so much. Yes, this was fun for the gifts, uh, especially the games. You, you might have a good idea that they're in a pretty good forever home mm -hmm. now, and the extras. Loving the sleeve, man. That looks so good. The yes. logo and the work that Chris does came together perfectly. All right, nerdlings, one last time. Hit the links in the description below to visit Peter over at Waves and Games. Give him a heads up if you happen to have a gamer tale that you'd like to work with him on or something. And let him know how nice he is to hook us up with some fun games. And remind him that, you know, if he starts to miss these games, all he has to do is, is just come around again. Gotta come home. Yeah, we'll sit down. We'll get some game time in. You know, there's some uh, Renaissance festivals that miss you. Oh, they where miss... are you going to find that turkey leg? Find the turkey leg. There you go. I'm looking for a turkey leg. Are they really all gone? <laughs> I came to this place for a turkey leg, and I hear they all have disappeared. Everyone wants a turkey leg, that's my quest today. Help me if you can find a turkey leg. Also, be sure to leave any comments down below about any of the games and stuff that you see here. Let us know if you've tried out WAC. How many of you have played the Hyperstone Heist and do you prefer this over Turtles in Time or not? And what do you know about King of the Monsters 2? Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and... Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it, we nerd it. Now, let's see what it's going to take to get Peter in this outfit right here. <laughs> but, uh, I, I don't know if I want to. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Ready? Hello, nerdlings. We're ready to do this. Now, let's do something we haven't been doing in our videos lately. A thumbnail picture. Thumbnail. Cause it's from Waves and Games. Right there. <laughs> you gotta stop moving. It's not a Harry Potter <laughs> thumbnail. It's a Harry Potter thumbnail. Make a dirt face. Go ahead, I'll use it. Don't use that, Tom. <laughs> Are you doing the waves? Waves. Waves and games. Waves and games. Get Do ready. a gen thing where she covers it and goes, I can't raise my eyebrows as fast as she can. But. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So cool. Oh, I ripped it.